MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network continues, as does our conversation with uh, Lou from Gamblu.com, one of the premier uh, websites out there. Uh, Lou is one of the most honest uh, dudes. For a guy named Gamblu, he's very, very honest and very well respected as well. Great write-ups, and uh, you guys want to win, just go check out, check out the website. So, uh, Lou, let's talk about uh, the Jake Matthews uh, Hollywood uh, fight, Johnny Case. This fight's at Pickham. Uh, Matthews, of course, the, the Australian uh, prospect slash, I'm not going to call him a phenom, but he's sort of the fighter that a lot of people in Australia think has the bright future ahead of him, Lou. Uh, I'm not from Australia, but I do believe he has a bright future as well. Uh, that said, nothing's easy, and boy, this matchup here, you have two really awesome, you know, pros- great prospect lightweights here, and they're pitting pitting them against one another and you know normally when these cards are in ireland or brazil or australia you look at at the ufc trying to allow the locals to show well i'm not certain if in this card uh the the aussies are set up very well and i think matthews here uh i think matthews is in for a, a very very tough tussle this fight open case minus 165 and a week or so ago, when Case got to plus 105, we, we had to take it. I think that's too much value. And the difference in fighters here, I feel, is Case's experience. You know, one thing when I look at Johnny Case, I, I got to be honest with you, Lou. I, I just didn't realize the run that this guy's been on. He hasn't lost since 2010. He hasn't lost since 2010. Now, Johnny Case has got, uh, what, four fights in the UFC. He's fought Jan Cabral. Uh, Francisco Trevino, Frankie Perez, and uh, Tokyo Domi. So, you know, he hasn't fought in the elite of the elite, obviously, in the UFC, but he's taken care of business every time. Uh, most of the fights have gone uh, gone the distance. Now, as far as Matthews, when you talk about it, when you talk about the Irish fighters, the British fighters, the Australian fighters, normally that weakness is wrestling. You know, but Matthews is kind of the anomaly. He can actually grapple a little bit, the kid. He can, and, and he's a well-rounded fighter. Uh, I'm not impressed with either man's late at last four fights. Uh, Trevino, it does, it, it Case's win over Trevino does nothing for me, though I think Perez is a pretty good win. Matthews, Areola, he lost to James Vick, the real first real test he had, and Case is going to be a different style than Vick, and uh, I really look for an outstanding fight here, but... You know, to be able to go and and find a guy that starts the favor at 165, and then I can get him at a dog price. You know, after my due diligence has has all been conducted, I have to take that value. I think Case has more ways to win, and Matthews, a loss on Matthews' uh, record right now only goes to condition him and prepare him for a bright future. I don't think he can get by Johnny Case in this spot. You know, it's interesting, too, because I said that uh, Case's fights go on. They do go on. They get out of the first round, but he stops them. It's very interesting, and as you stated, Lou, he ends fights, but and people aren't overly impressed with it after the fact. But all four of his fights in the UFC have ended via stoppage. Two submission wins, a KO win, and uh, and and was subbed. Um, as far as uh, as Matthews uh, is concerned, so you know that that's interesting. There, uh, the total. I'm going to pass on this one. The total's two and a half. As you stated, I wouldn't be shocked to see Johnny Case uh, uh, get a win here. Fights a pick em. I think Case is the better fighter. This is a tough one, though, Lou. I like the first two better. Yeah, I, I, I'm on record. I have Case, Magny, and Hunt already on record. So we'll, there's nothing we can do except stand up. And we get the best price on each of those occasions, which is what we strive to do. And now we got to hope that our fighter does what we have planned that they're going to do. I'm getting confused here. Look at Johnny and Jake. I should have wrote their last names to make it easier. I'm like, I, you know, oftentimes, I just write fighters' first names. I'm like, yeah, hey, oh, Jake, Johnny, all right. So listen, unfortunately, we've only got a minute left already here. Uh, quickly on the way out, you mentioned uh, the Rin Nakai fight against Smith. Smith minus 170, total two and a half. Over under uh, is uh, minus 200. People expect that fight to go the distance. And, uh, you know, what's your take on that one? And quickly, uh, Stephen Bosse and Tahuna, James Tahuna. I think Tahuna gets back in the winner circle, but the line's a little high. The line's high, but he has every advantage, size, reach. You, you know, uh, I haven't studied that one too much. 
I'm not impressed with the Marquardt Rua win, but to share a loss uh, probably taught him something. I, I don't know enough about Bossy to really make any kind of stand, so I'll pass on that one. But the Smith and the Kai fight. Uh, this 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 gal from Japan, Nakai. She's she, if she was two inches taller, she'd be square. But she's a great little bulldog of a wrestler, and I think Smith just is set up perfectly for. Her. And Nakai's going to make this thing ugly. She's going to run, hug tight take her to the ground. This thing should be ugly, but Nakai, who opens minus 140, is now plus 140. That's 80 cents of value that we're going to take with a fighter that we firmly will believe will win against a gal in Smith that's lost three of her last four, two or three in the UFC. Yeah, Rin Nakai, 5-1, Leslie Smith, 5-9. Going to be an interesting dynamic uh, right there. Thanks, Lou. Sure, appreciate it, Gabriel. There's a gambler with us. We'll take a quick break. We'll uh, wrap it up with a video in a week. Well, we try to give the people what they want, and uh, I think what people want is to watch Nate Diaz beat the crap out of Justin Bieber. I don't know who the hell Bieber thinks he is, trash-talking against Diaz. I don't think Bieber would want to run into Diaz outside of a club in Hollywood. It's amazing that Diaz has gone TMZ and is partying at the hot spots in Hollywood, but here's Nate Diaz beating the crap out of Justin Bieber. Oh, all this anticipation, all the buildup, the pre-fight, back and forth, and Ready. finally, they are Ready. set to battle. Pretty boy, Ready. Nate Diaz. Ready. Here we go! Oh, he's taking some punishment here early, Joe. <laughs> That's it, he's out, he's out. Man, <laughs> that <laughs> fool. Beautiful knockout here early in the 209 first. 209 in the house. Let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Look at this. Bam! And good night. This is as close as you're going to get to actually want getting to With see Bieber get beaten up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is called to stop. Awesome stuff. Thanks to MMA uh, game. Great job, guys. 